Yeah, I think for me, preparing for race day, it's um, obviously done the physical work. So I think a lot of it's um, mentally getting ready ready to race. I think the days leading in, you obviously try and think about your goals, what you're, what you're aiming for, um, also how you're going to execute them. Probably the night before, I'll think about how I'm going to achieve those goals. I'll probably, before I go to bed, I'll try and think about it a little bit. But after that, I probably won't switch off until I'm warming up and I'll probably think about what's going to happen out there in the race. Um, other than that, it's just pretty much staying relaxed. I'll um, try and not do anything different than I normally do, whether that's what I drink, what I eat. Um, it's all pretty similar. Um, and other than that, I'll just yeah rest up and then wait till I start warming up. And yeah, once I'm warming up, I'll focus mentally getting ready for it. Um, and then in, until you're on the start line, I'll um, kind of switch off again, whether you're in call room or 10 minutes before getting to the start line. And then once you get on the track, that's where you you um you got to focus on competing. Um, and yeah, just making sure you can give it your best. That's probably my big advice. Yeah, I think the um, obviously when obviously things aren't going well, whether you're battling an injury or you're coming back from injury and you're obviously not as fit or, um, or whatever moving forward, it's kind of you got to the big focus I put on is day by day. You kind of got to break it down. It's easy to think, oh, I'm not as fit as I was a year ago. Um, you kind of got to look more long term, whether that's focus on making sure you train what like to get the train done and train well the next day, the day after, and kind of go shorter term goals, whether it's a week two weeks to try and obviously long term get through that whether it's that 10 week marathon program or the 12 weeks you have leading into track season or whatever it's kind of you gotta if it's not going well you kind of got to simplify it and break it down to a day-to-day -day thing and um yeah obviously not worry about when you're racing next or focusing too much on your training just trust in the process of yeah focusing on that day-to-day -day training Yeah, I think the the big ones are definitely the the little things you do outside running. I think obviously you have to run a lot, but I think it's the big things: the recovery, um, making sure you're sleeping right, eating right. Um, obviously, make a big difference in staying healthy, um, which is the, obviously the ultimate goal to train well. Um, I think it's the other little things: the gym work, um, and just I think a big thing is you got to focus on trying to make sure you're putting yourself in environments where you're happy um, and you're obviously enjoying your training. Because I think. If you're, you're happy and you're around people you enjoy training with, obviously you, you perform a bit better. So I think it's a lot focusing on making sure you're putting yourself in the right training environments and training with the right people around you will, will obviously, obviously have a big impact on um, yeah, your overall performance.